I want to start off with something a little less ancient, right? So we're going to pick a newspaper in Connecticut. This is a newspaper in Connecticut. This was written about 30 years after slavery supposedly ended, right? So about 30 years after slavery, this was written. Remember, it's a very racist time. It's a time where people didn't like black people at all in America, right? <clears throat> Still don't like us, but you know how that goes. A young African Negro, right? This was written in 1897. A, non a young African Negro has been in this city for the last few days who claims to be a Hebrew. He is deaf and he is dumb and as, a, as black as the ace of spades. This is a, a newspaper in Connecticut. You had a black man claiming to be a Hebrew and he is deaf and dumb, but it don't stop there. He carries a pad of paper because he's deaf and dumb. He carries a pad of paper with him and answers all questions by writing them in Hebrew. But what type of Hebrew? You know what that means? The holy tongue. The holy tongue, if you jump down to the next sentence, he says, it is the language of the books of Moses. So let's explain that a little bit. Moses wrote at a time, a very ancient time, right? Throughout that time, Hebrews began to read, write, write a little differently. So if you look at the writing that Rose, Moses wrote in Hebrew versus what, what uh, Isaiah may have written in Hebrew, it's a little different. The writing style is a little different because there's a huge time gap there, right? Just like the writing styles of King James is different from what we see on Facebook today, right? So then it would be hard-pressed to find anybody today that can write the way King James wrote. Right? Thou shalt this, that, and other. Right? It'd be different. It would be a different type of writing because it's a different time. In the same way, they're saying it is impossible that this kid is writing in the holy tongue in the 18th century. Or 19th century, rather. Right? In the 19th century. It's imp it doesn't make any sense. This is something that, that, that and they, they go on to say it in the next part, and is made a special, or oh, I'm sorry, it is the language of the books of Mo Moses and is made a, a special study of spoken, written, uh, spoken and written with ease by any of the rabbis. So the rabbis be out here and they educated. They study this stuff, trying to speak and write in the holy tongue. Where well, you got this black Negro from Africa Jumping out here, this, I mean, this coon, he deaf and dumb, but he right effortlessly. We have to ask ourselves, how? How does that happen? How does this kid from Africa just jump out there and he's writing in the holy tongue? He ain't been educated, ain't been nothing. How does he do this? When these Jewish rabbis study very hard to be able to do this.